Hey you guys, okay so today I am back with another really great spring fashion video. I feel like we've done so many great ones lately from affordable ideas to ideas with new clothing that I've bought. Today I'm going to share with you some just must have items, my favorites for spring in my closet that will make dressing super easy for you guys. If you have these pieces, it's just a no brainer. You'll just be able to get dressed so easily. We're going to be discussing some new spring trends and how you can work that into your wardrobe in ways that still look like you. I just, I really like to kind of retain my personal style and add in some trends in some more affordable ways rather than just like blowing it all out and just like reinventing myself. Do you know what I mean? And hey, if you want to do that, do that. But I'm going to give you guys some really great ideas. So we're going to just talk about spring must-haves, kind of give you guys some outfit ideas in the process. Um, shoes are huge. I think we're going to do a whole shoe video coming up next. So I have got you guys covered with shoes. So um, so yeah, get excited about that next one. It's going to be really fun. Anyone can have so much fun with accessories, put on any kind of earring, whatever, if you just really like that boldness. But I love earrings that do have that little bit of a fun element, but that are also really neat nice looking. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't want anything huge too chunky in your face. These are amazing. If you pick up one pair of earrings for spring, of course, grab a great pair of hoops. I will link to my all-time favorite hoops below. You can get them on Amazon. Want a pair that's not so basic that's just a little bit different, right? Because of course we all have or we've all done a basic hoop, but these are beautiful. Come in some different colors. I'll link to my exact ones, but they have this beautiful little like druzy stone with some stones around it, and then they're forward facing hoops, which I really love. Just a little dainty necklace. I've been loving this love one. Super inexpensive. I believe it's around like $15, but it's you know plated with gold. If you've got these like go-to pieces, you can make outfits all spring and look amazing with these, and they go with everything you guys these are must-haves this has become a fast favorite of mine I've had it for a little while it looks like a very like finer material like really nice like it's a very like soft almost has that like silky look to it buttons down the center it's got this cute little tie I love olive green I think year-round like go for it it's always always good you could wear this with heels with wedges with flats with flip-flops, anything, this would be amazing. This is one of those outfits that you could literally bring on a trip, wear it out to the nicest dinner with some nice shoes, to wear it as a cover-up. I mean, I hate to say it, but you could literally wear this in so many different ways, and that's what I love about spring. I love these easy pieces that are truly so versatile, and that's what I love so much about this dress. Let's talk about some of these, like, clear accessories trends. If you go to Nordstrom, if you go to any website and you type in, like, clear bags, clear shoes, you wouldn't think it is insane. Designers have gone nuts. I was this close to buying a more expensive designer clear bag. It was a beautiful Stella McCartney one, which I've never gotten into any Stella McCartney bags or things. Like, I've tried on those, um, the Falabella bags or whatever, and they're just so floppy and weird. I just don't get the, I don't know, I, I just, I don't get it a lot of times, but there was a clear one like that that was very, very pretty, but then I started looking, okay, the clear, it was a little brown, and I'm like, am I such a brown person? I don't know. Kind of reminds me of those Louis Vuitton bags years and years ago with the big chunky chain, the bucket ones. You guys know. Hope you guys know. So I knew, like, okay, Tiffany, like, reel it in. Don't buy something that's super designery, super expensive on this whole clear trend. I found, okay, there's a brand that Nordstrom has that has the cutest, most adorable clear bags, and I was this close to buying one. I did get a different clear bag, but they look like they're really well made. There's some totes. They come with like other bags inside. I will link to those. I still may get one. I, I'm going to link. I'll link you guys to the one that I have my eye on that I was this close to buying. I literally took it out of my cart and was like, I don't know, Tiffany, if you're still thinking about it, just get it. This one was only like $34, I believe. It is a total ripoff of the Chanel little clear one that they did that was that was kind of funny. It almost looked like a little fake, like kind of like a little jokey bag, but it was, it's so, so, so cute and adorable. But it, again, it's one of those things like, I, I don't know, y'all know me. I like to buy trendy things. If I see a designer item that I love that I can't live without that's super trendy, then I'll get it. But I don't just say, oh, that's, that's the latest trend. Let me grab that. What color have you got today? Oh, is it clear? Sure. Give it to me. Load me up. Like I cannot do that. I would, I would like, I would, I would like die inside. Like I can't, I couldn't do that. But it's kind of funny, but I saw this and I was like, this is a very visually appealing, just cutesy little bag and it's $34. So I'm like, sure, give me two. I didn't buy two. I just bought one. If I bought two, I would have felt definitely ridiculous. But 
but how cute is that right and here's what I got this for and what I think it's gonna be really good for you know like stadiums now are so stadiums are so strict now you have to have a clear bag they have to be a certain size um <laughs> is this even I'm like hmm is it too long no no probably I don't know do your research on that if that's what you're buying it for but I thought how cute if it only lasts a season if it only lasts like one time it's not that big of a deal do you know what I mean the straps are stinky and metally um, you can wear it, you know, crossbody. But although the crossbody is pretty long, I wish it kind of hit maybe like that. So I might tie the, sh the strap in a knot. You know what I might do? I might take the, oh yeah, you could just take some apply pliers, tweezers, tweez not tweezers. <laughs> Don't use your tweezers for this. Apply pliers, a plier. I can, I can fix that. I can take out a little bit of it. But I just thought you can't go wrong, girl. Like, you know what I mean? Just go for it. So cute. It really is cute, and it's like plastic is freaking plastic. Do you know what I mean? $34, like get you some. The Chanel one is handmade by some like little old lady that knows what she's doing, and this one is definitely probably, definitely probably 100% not, um, but who cares? It's a clear bag. Do you know what I mean? It's cute. So, and it's really cute in my closet. This just made me happy. This is just one of those little like happy items that made me so happy. Can't be too mad at it, right? If you want a pair of like, I call them like, you know, like legging type shorts, bike shorts, whatever the heck you want to call them. The Zella ones are really, really good. I really like these. I think they're cute, but I don't wear them like, let me look super cute in an outfit. I mean, throw them on. It's cute, whatever. Like, I don't like to wear them in like an ironic way. Like, if I just really want to just be relaxed whatever wear them with a longer t-shirt or whatever you want to do but when I think of those I think of a really embarrassing story from the early 90s if you are like born in the 80s then guaranteed you had a mother in the early 90s that dressed you in a whole lot of bike shorts a whole lot bike shorts under skirts bike shorts under dresses bike shorts under other shorts bike shorts with tutus made onto them bike shorts. They were everywhere. They're everywhere now. Like everything, everything comes back around. But those didn't come around in a different way. They're literally the same as they've always been, which is fine, which is great. But every time I think of those, I think of the only time I've ever peed my pants. And <laughs> what if I tell you guys this? When I was in, I think, second grade, I was wearing some bike shorts. I don't even remember. I think my top was like very like floral, like some neon colors. This was like 1992. Second grade, I was killing it. You know, I was feeling good. I had a teacher that she was really sweet. Like she was a good teacher, but it taught me so much like about when I was a teacher, I was like, if a kid ever asked to go to the bathroom, let them go to the damn bathroom. Like I would literally burn it down if I ever found out that my kid had asked to go to the bathroom and the teacher wouldn't let them. I don't care if you're on a schedule. I don't care what you're doing. Um, if your kid, if a, if a kid has to go to the bathroom, you have to go to the bathroom. And I remember we were doing some kind of like multiplication test. Isn't this crazy how you can't remember certain things, but you remember some things so vividly. I remember where my chair was. I remember how the room looked. We were doing like a multiplication test where she would just held, held up things and you would do it. And I was like really panicking and I kept saying, I have to go, I have to go. And she wouldn't let me and she wouldn't let me. And um, she literally wouldn't let me go. And so I got, I got to the point where I just like panicked and I like, I peed, like I peed. And I just, I peed everywhere and it was quiet. We were just all sitting there and I was like, oh my gosh. And it was like one of those like blue plastic chairs. And I was thinking, holy crap. And I could feel it and it was, it was just, oh my gosh, you guys, it was so embarrassing. And so I sat there and I thought, this is good because I'm wearing black, you know. So I stood up and we had like one of those little like sinks in the room that had like, you know, paper towels and like a little water fountain, you know, stuff. And so I just remember I got up and I thought when everyone stands up to hand in their thing, I'll just get up and like in the, in the shuffle, I'll just like get, you know, I'll just kind of dry it off. I can't believe I'm telling you this story. So whatever, I was, I was in second grade. I mean, who cares? I mean, I would tell you the story if it was last year too. I did have this happen at an airport once as well. I'm not ready to talk about that right now, so... No, my second grade self, I, I don't think she cares. I think she's over it. I was trying to like dry off or whatever and then someone saw it, like the kid next to me was like, oh my gosh, what's in your chair? And I blamed it on this kid that always got in trouble. I was like, he put water in my chair, I can't believe it. And I like went over it, I was like, ah. Oh. And everyone was like, oh my gosh. And I don't think it was a big deal, like he didn't get in trouble or anything. But I just kind of like told my little friends, I was like, oh, he put water in my chair, like what a, ugh. And then I remember I went to the bathroom and I was like trying to dry off and it was so embarrassing and I had like wet pants and I'm sure. But listen, so embarrassing though, that kind of stuff causes anxiety. But I just remember every time I see those pants, I just think of peeing my pants. 
because I remember being in the bathroom like trying to dry them and it was just it was a whole thing that wasn't a super necessary story but hope you enjoyed it anyways okay the bike shorts I'm not gonna oh guys this is how you wear them. let me style these literally um I call them like legging shorts, bike shorts, because I ain't biking. I mean, come on, they are what they are. But that's what my mom called them when I was a kid, too. But don't reinvent the wheel, you guys. This isn't like some hard look to achieve. You just put these on, and then you just put this on. You just put these on, and you put this on. It's not hard. And then you just put on a jean jacket or whatever. It literally been done. All right, so let's move on to favorite t shirts. I like throw on your favorite. Graphic tee, favorite plain tee with your favorite pair of denim, favorite shorts, whatever. You've got the cutest outfit. Tie it up. I've showed you guys how I use the clear hair elastics that you can get in packs of like a ton of them. I will link to the exact ones that I get. Tie up a little knot in your shirt. You're good to go. I've showed you guys that trick with maxi dresses where an old maxi dress, throw a t-shirt on over it, tie it up. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that. I feel like sometimes I'm like repeating tips. I feel like if I didn't mention that, you guys would be like, what am I talking about? But but sometimes that's why I repeat things, because I always will get a question or two. So, I mean, just follow me on all the things, and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about, so you don't miss anything. But, a good idea, and it just looks so fresh. This one will be so cute done like that. But, the l &M t-shirts, absolutely love. She's coming out with some new spring things. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, so, anyways, love this one. This is just one of my faves. This one I have in a small, and I mean, they fit amazing. Like, you can wear them, you don't have to tie them up. I mean, they look so cute just on their own. Tuck them in, whatever you want to do. But they just add so much, and this is my new, new fave. And I got this one in a medium. They, This one, I believe, this particular style might run a little smaller. So if you're normally a small, um, maybe grab a medium if it's like a small. So I um, love it, the Saint Amour. Sometimes you think like, oh, t-shirts, shorts, t-shirts, jeans, like so boring. Not if you get the right ones. So that's... That's good. And this one I haven't worn yet, but I really love the lip one. This one's a small, so that one's kind of oversized looking. So this one I absolutely love. It's in the same print as my favorite sweatshirt by her, the Mod Modern Femme. And I have a small on this one as well. These I showed in my last video about fashion-y stuff. And I'm not kidding, you guys. They're just stretched just the right amount. They have the look, the fit, the feel of like a really pricey, designery pair of denim. They are not, and they are wonderful and I'm like should I buy another pair should I be crazy and but no they're really nice you guys so you just cannot go wrong with these here's what the back looks like I would definitely say also size up in shorts that's a trick I just feel like it fits better they look nicer if you did want to go a little bit spendier with shorts if you're like me and you don't have a ton of pairs and you just want to invest in maybe like one or two really great pairs the AG I just never they just never disappoint love the really light wash you know they're not too distressed this one I feel like you've seen so much I've done so many videos wearing this I posted on my Instagram recently wearing it so you could probably check that out but grab yourself a good jumpsuit I've talked about so many jumpsuit suits lately this one is very special and I'm mentioning it again right now because when I bought this several months ago I got it in this color love it so much and then by the time I showed it this color was pretty much like gone and they had a different one that was a little darker that looked a little around the seams and stuff it was a little darker but now they have this one again I was just looking the other day and it was like oh new like it's back whatever so super super cute you can make it kind of sexy you can unzip it a little you can zip it up a little more heels flats sneakers the works you name it so versatile washed it and dried it several times it just is beautiful if you wear something like this if you wear these shorts or um, any kind of shorts or bottoms that aren't denim throw on a denim jacket with that all day long okay that's just like 101 super simple but if you put on a pair of denim shorts which is what I do most of the time put it on with any of these tops I showed and then throw on something like this I did try this on in a recent video I love this so much it's just the cutest and um, it's just become one of my favorites so that's a favorite in my last video where we talked about clothing and fashion and stuff, I showed you guys the pair of denim that I had that were the good American ones that I absolutely love. I mean, we've all heard of it. It's Chloe's denim line, you know, like it's it's a thing, right? And I don't know, like I wasn't trying to resist it or anything, but I was just kind of like, I mean, it's been out for a while. I don't know. Denim's such a tricky thing for me. I have my certain brands that I like, and I'm like, I don't want to spend all that on, you know, are they even good? Who knows? So... I'm not kidding you guys. Is this my new pair? No, this is this is my older pair and this is my new pair. Let me show you how cute these are. So um, this is the first pair that I got and these are the ones that I tried on in that video. They're only really distressed um, on the back pockets, but they're just very simple. 
hit right at the ankle, a little above the ankle. The fit of these is insane. It is the highest rise, and I know you're like, what? If you were going to make it a look like to wear a pair of high-waisted denim, like in that video where I showed you and I was wearing kind of like things that were a little more fitted, it's a very like sexy, really pretty look. It makes you look very curvy. I really do like it. I like that look for certain times. If you want to look like smooth in all the right places, I have gotten very used to a high-waisted pair of denim, and they're honestly more comfortable because it doesn't like cut you off like, you know, at your at your like widest point. Do you know what I mean? Like why did we ever wear those super low rise jeans? I know it's gonna come back hopefully by the time it does. I just like don't care and I've given up. Wear what you want but these are so good you guys. They make your body look insane. When I wore these you guys were like wow those are really good. They make your butt look really good. The pockets give you, I don't want to say they make you look like you have a giant ass but they kind of make you look like you have a giant ass and that's not always a bad thing but I really do like the pockets, okay? They're not like mom jean pockets. They're, they sit just at the right place, but they're, the, the pocket placement, pocket placement is very important. But anyway, so I wanted a different pair that was a little more distressed at the front because in the spring is when I really, really, really love to bust out my distressed denim. These, it's like just the right amount of distressing where it doesn't look like crazy, but it's just enough and it, Gives you some interest, especially if you're wearing like a more plain t-shirt or a plain top and you're throwing on like this or you know like a little jacket with it or whatever. It gives you some interest. And sunglasses, you guys. I have been so into aviators lately. The little ear or the um, the nose pieces will, you know, they'll rip your hair out all day long. So you can't really put them on your head. So I always have to stop myself. But I love these because it's just very sexy. Oh, that's real sexy. That's real down there. Kind of like hang them in your shirt and it's kind of like a little look and these okay these are the ones that i showed last year i have them in black too these are a different black pair that's so much better that i love but you know where aviators i feel like a motorcycle cop i look like a, you know what i mean it is what it is but um how cute i just i think those are so nice they're 14 dollars. the gold i think is really pretty these desperately need to be cleaned but i found these recently and i love them these are not too crazy expensive either the oh my gosh these just feel so much nicer and so much like better made. I like how they've got the little prong like for the lens right there. It kind of gives them like a, just poke myself, kind of gives them like a little nicer look. But I really do love the gradient of the lens. I love how they're flat and they're not curved, which is kind of a key to look less traffic cop. Do you know what I mean? I love these. I think they're really good. And again, just something that's, you know, updated for spring but that won't break the bank. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like, I just, I cannot thank you enough. I tell you how much it means to me that you choose to spend this time with me a few times every week or that you, that you enjoy what I do. It means so much. So thank you guys. Love y'all. I will link to everything that I showed and um, have the best weekend ever. I'll see you guys later. Bye.